Hey, I'm Damian Pelliccioni, AKA your gay media guru. This is Poison Tech. What okay. is on your iPhone right now? I love Instagram. I've become hooked on Instagram because I'm on a teen soap right now yeah. called Switch at Birth. You're big on social media. I, I do like I do like my Twitter. I feel like I'm late to the party. I just got Shazam. What's your most used piece of technology? I'm not gonna talk about it. Oh, is it dirty? Always. <laughs> so we are here with the ravishing Andrea. Andrea, how are you doing tonight? I'm very good. We're here in the heart of Austin, Texas for South by Southwest. So we're here with the cast and crew of What It Was. Tell us your name. Daniel Armando. Ryan Bayless. Melissa Navia. I'm Sean Bayless. We're here at the start out party and it's all about entrepreneurs. So it's just great creating an organization where you can be out, you can be comfortable, you can meet like-minded people and just create a family and a community. Thanks so much for talking to us. Follow yes. us at Boys in Tech. Stick around, we've got more in store for you here at the Crest Theater in the heart of Westwood. Let's get started. In this week's edition of Gays, Gadgets, and Gizmos, we found some great new products. Is your smartphone GPS not always accurate? I recently discovered the Waze app. The Fitbit Force. Moxie Bluetooth Showerhead. Nest. Vita Science Digital Body Analyzer. One of the coolest apps that's come out there is called Secret. Have you yeah. heard of it? No, I haven't heard of Secret. Google recently launched a breakthrough product. Chromecast allows you to mirror all your mobile devices. And we've got the scoop on a brand new product from Dyson Fans. This next award-winning product just received top honors at this year's CES convention. Coin consolidates all your credit cards into one device. As a filmmaker, you need to save money. Yeah. And so that's what I do. And so I need to make sure I save money or that I'm on top of my finances so my production doesn't shut down. I like downtown. Did you walk here? No. But you could have. I, I Ubered. You Ubered it? I did. Right here, right now, right here, right now. Please welcome to the show, Jeff Davis. Creator, Kit Williamson, and executive producer, John Halbach. Joe Deedle and Ben Zuck. JC Lee, John Hoffman, and Michael Lannon. My guest today is a artist, director, art director, interior designer, furniture designer, and best-selling author. Please welcome Christopher Giacone. As a music video director, you've worked with big names. Tony Bennett, Dolly Parton, Ari Gold, and of course Madonna. Big round of applause for Christopher Giacone. Thank you so much for being here. Right here, right here, right here. Desire was like a double death. Swift, dying, our mingled breath. Our goal with the show and with all of our characters is to create human characters. And being a human being, none of us are perfect. Even the worst people in the world have something about them that's lovable. The holiday special DVD set from my favorite new web series, Where the Bears Are. We brought a clip from the show, so let's right. take a look. Beards, Boys, and Booze is the theme of this critically acclaimed web series turned TV show. You have this bizarre notion that this story, like everything else, is about you. you. How did Logo find you? We didn't expect a company like Viacom to pay attention to what we were doing, so it was definitely really exciting. I am so proud and pleased to introduce Mr. and Mr. I said it right. Quincy and DeAndre Gosfield. A huge congratulations is in order. What was it like, like getting married in front oh of millions of people? Up until that point, I was just like, this is cool, I'm getting married on the gram. I was, like, I was like, and I'm getting married yeah. to another guy on national television. This is huge. Huge announcement today, Laverne Cox being the first transgender woman Such nominated a proud for, an, day. for an Emmy. Um, Scandal, congratulations on the Emmy last year. Thank you. A lot of today's shows include more and more gay representation. We didn't see 28 million people watching us. Um, you know, we did see quite a few thousand, um, which was intimidating enough, but just to learn that it was like the largest um, audience um, for the Grammys in I don't know how many years. The social media giant added terms people can use to identify their gender. I'm super excited um, to have you guys because um, you have a big announcement. You guys just acquired uh, one of the biggest gay social networks in the world, Jack. I sort of envision a world 
um, you know, 50 years down the line, what does gay dating look like? Yeah. You know, 50 years from now. And GBT, gay bar that's opening up in downtown Los Angeles coming this April. We see this resurgence and we're also bringing the community back to downtown. I love it. What is it like being one of the leading voices of technology and like gay culture writing for Query? Right here, right now, right here, right now. Thanks so much for watching this week's show. I'm stoked that we're all coming together and, and seeing you know our peers and everything. It's like we're a very diverse community and we're all hunkered down in our projects all year long. And Outfest is, a, is our chance to touch base and go, hey, how are you? Congratulations, yeah. we got something done. Sure. Tune in to Boys in Tech, the internet's only weekly talk show devoted to discussing the gay side of what's trendy on the web.